We have a little cup. For President yeah. Trump, more guns, not fewer, could be what stops students from getting shot if those weapons are in the hands of some teachers. We have to harden our schools, not soften them up. A gun-free zone to a killer or somebody that wants to be a killer, that's like going in for the ice cream. That's like, here I am, take me. In his second school safety listening session this week, the president's pushing a controversial concept that certain properly trained educators should be allowed to carry concealed weapons. These are experts. These would be people that actually would want them. They're not going to walk into a school if 20 percent of the teachers have guns. It may be 10 percent or maybe 40 percent. And what I'd recommend doing is the people that do carry we give them a bonus. We give them a little bit of a bonus. If 20% of public school teachers were armed, that would work out to more than 600,000 teachers nationwide. How are schools supposed to pay for bonuses for armed teachers, as the president has suggested? I think that if we find the policy solutions that make the most sense that we can get buy-in for, uh, we'll figure out the rest of these other, these other pieces that you outlined. Right now, eight states across the country let teachers carry concealed weapons, including Oklahoma, where this school sign warns people some staff members can be armed. But the National Education Association opposes this. In Parkland, Florida, where 17 people were killed last week, Stoneman Douglas teacher Greg Pittman, who owns a gun but keeps it at home, says he worries about arming teachers. I want to educate someone's life, not take their life. The president also wants another significant change, raising the age when people can legally buy semi-automatic weapons. We're going to work on getting the age up to 21 instead of 18. But that pits the president against the powerful National Rifle Association, which tells NBC News such a move would deprive younger people of their constitutional right to self-protection. Mr. President, Thank are you, you willing to go up against the NRA, sir, on age limits? Thank you very much. I don't think I'll be going up against them. I really think the NRA wants to do what's right. The head of the NRA... Today, speaking publicly for the first time since last week's Parkland shooting, blaming not guns, but the FBI, mental health issues, and school security failures. Evil walks among us, and God help us if we don't harden our schools and protect our kids. Some Republicans are now signaling support for raising the age limit for certain gun purchases. But the White House says a more sweeping proposal to ban all semi-automatic weapons altogether is not something President Trump would back right now. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.